skis. He just doesn't care. <laughs> okay, this is a scissor. Oh, so, okay. Fellow students, can I let you know that I can get one minute? One minute. <laughs> I got more to say. <laughs> All right, uh, today's a scissor sweep uh, lesson. I'm going to start with just basics, and then I'm going to go into a kick sweep, which is a variable. Um, then I'm going to get into some kind of unorthodox ways of starting it with a basic jiu-jitsu sweep, ending it with what I call forcing sprawl, which is a major concept in guerrilla jiu-jitsu, okay? So we're going to start just basics. Oh, here we go, basic grips, very much like a judo grip, collar, sleeve, two different ways to grab here, sleeve here, or elbow control. This is good for arm bar combination, uh, which we might get into later, but we're going to make sure we get to the sweeps first. I'm just going to start with a basic sleeve grip. Feet on the ground, snake move away. Very simple. One of the things that a lot of uh, new students do wrong is they don't have enough distance between me and my opponent. If I scoot and I'm here, I'm clogged. I can't pull him. The main thing here is he's heavy, number one, when he's not moving, and when his upper body is right above his lower body. That means there's a lot of weight on his legs. What I want to do is take that away from him. So what I do is I scoot away from my opponent a little bit further. Left leg flat on the ground, my right leg fits in like a puzzle piece. I arch my foot, put it right on the hip. Now one thing I don't want to do is put my knee down right away. A fast guy will shove my knee, my knee down, just shove it down, and jump past. I don't want that to happen, okay? So to gauge that, as soon as I scoot away, my knee's slightly up. Now I can push on his sternum to keep him, or basically the control distance. When I'm ready to go though, I will drop it because I want to pull him to me. Once I drop it, I pull him. Now again, two things. Now there's not concentrated weight on his legs because he's forward and he's in motion. Okay, this is building kazushi very much like in judo throws, okay? So when I'm here, I'm going to drop, coil my leg back and pull him on top of me. Okay, when I pull him on top of me, he's in motion and then I scissor. Now the main thing, the main vehicle to which I can sit up is my left elbow. I want to keep his sleeve so he can't post. There's even a hook I can do. Even if I land a hook, this hook is now controlling his bottom leg. Everybody understand that? So I'm controlling one side of his body. So even if he scoots away from me, I still have control of him. And my elbow is going to drive my hips forward. I gain leverage here to sit up into the mounted position. Once I gain mount, unless I'm very, very confident in the position, I don't go to a transition to finish. I just lock mount down. So I call it the skydive. My knees drop. My hips are forward like I'm skydiving. And then I control the head. As a matter of fact, BJ was really big on controlling the head and going to one side so he has bonus head control with his mouth. Okay? That's what I want you guys to do. 